Does vision therapy improve reading? That is a complex question that I'm gonna answer throughout this video. Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Renault, and I'm a developmental optometrist. I'm calling out to all parents with students struggling to learn how to read. For some, their vision is limiting their reading ability and can be improved through vision therapy. Let me show you how, but first, make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and let's get started. So how does vision therapy make an impact on reading ability? First, in our practice, we focus on vision problems that interfere with the student's ability to read, to learn, to comprehend, sometimes even pay attention. And about 80% of what we learn in the classroom, it comes in through our visual sense. That's more than every other sense, all, all of them added up together, doesn't even come close to what we learn through our vision. We don't need to taste or smell very many things to learn. It's, so much of the classroom is learned through seeing. However, studies show a whopping one in four students struggle with their eyes when it comes to reading and learning. Even if you see 2020 far away, your eyes still may struggle to coordinate and work together when it comes to up-close visual tasks like reading and learning. So a lot of things need to go right with your vision in order to read. First, we need to turn both of our eyes inward when we read, kind of like crossing your eyes a small amount. The closer the target, the more our eyes turn inward. And if, you're, if your eyes struggle to do that, we may actually see double vision on the page. We may get eye strain and headaches because we're working so hard and also fatigue and get worn out really quickly as well. Along with just working so hard that can lead to frustration as well. We also need to focus and zoom in our eyes onto the page. Kind of like a camera, we zoom in up close and relax to see far away. So if you're unable to zoom in all the way, you're gonna struggle with blurry vision when you're reading. Plus you'll get those same headaches, eye strain, fatigue, and just really working so hard to do something that should be pretty easy for us. Then we need to accurately track our eyes across the page, scanning into our peripheral vision where that next word is located. And if we're missing it, or if we struggle to make accurate reading eye movements, then we may skip words and lines, we may repeat words and lines, lose our place on the page, or in severe cases, even see letters moving or swimming or shaking, uh, just not really stable and easy to see. Then once you've successfully pointed and focused your eyes on the word that you should be on, then you need to process that visual information. So processing means understanding and taking meaning from what you're looking at. Understanding each of those letters and words, those all of those symbols on the page taking meaning from what you see. If you struggle with that and you can't remember what you've seen before, that can lead to poor spelling, that can lead to uh, poor comprehension, forgetting what you've read before. Uh, reading fluency can be very choppy in these kids, and uh, we can see issues like letter reversals as well. So if you can't do all of these things, not just some of them, but all of them, uh, then you may struggle to read. So functional vision is essential for reading success. If vision is poor, if those visual skills are not up to par, uh, then it's gonna, re gonna really get in the way of reading performance, comfort, and enjoyment. So now how do we fix this problem? What is vision therapy? Vision therapy is a specialized treatment that addresses problems that we see in these, in these students who have difficulty with eye teaming, eye focusing, tracking, making reading eye movements, their depth perception, peripheral vision, visual perception and processing skills, as well as visual sensory and motor integration, uh, just to name a few, many more. So I test all of these skills in a neurodevelopmental vision evaluation, much, much more comprehensive than a routine eye exam where I test each skill, find where a patient does well and where they struggle, and then create a treatment plan through vision therapy to build and develop those skills up to where we expect at that patient's age. I personally also write a report with all my findings and treatment plans, as well as educational accommodations, which can be shared with teachers, with tutors, with other therapists, with other doctors, that patient's eye doctor who may have referred them to our practice, so that everyone's on the same page about how vision is getting in the way and, and limiting reading so far, and what we are going to do to try to improve and get those skills up to speed. Then vision therapy can start. We perform activities with our patients so that they their brains can learn how to control their eyes. They can learn how to acquire visual information and then process it efficiently and accurately. Uh, and, and really through a sequence of first learn how to, how to do a skill, then learn how to do it easily without a lot of effort, uh, you know, just kind of naturally make it happen instead of trying really hard. Then try to ingrain these skills long term so that someone who does vision therapy in second grade doesn't need to do it again in the future in sixth or ninth grade when they've lost their skills. We want these skills to be built, be easy and effortless, and then last long term. 
Then as these learning related vision problems are, are improved, they stop getting in the way so much, then reading performance often improves. Now we do not teach patients how to read. We are not a tutoring center or any type of reading intervention. We simply teach our patients to be visual learners and see the page the way that they should so that all of their visual attention and all of their cognitive brain power can go towards processing and making sense of what's on the page so that they can improve and become better readers with practice. With these new visual skills, the student must take what they've learned in our clinic with their eyes and use those new eyes to, to develop reading ability, to get caught up in reading, and really also develop enjoyment and confidence as a reader. So if vision is the only problem that's holding that student back from becoming a strong reader, then improving those, those problems through vision therapy, we can often see the patient really skyrocket as a, as a reader. They really improve their reading ability during vision therapy. We've eliminated the one hurdle holding them back from reaching their reading potential. If there's more to it, like the patient maybe has dyslexia or learning disability, attention disorders or behavior problems that are also limiting their, their potential as a student, then vision is part of the puzzle, but there's going to be a lot of team members helping that student along in their educational journey and becoming a better reader. For the patients in our clinic who have learning related vision problems, I can expect to see progress in reading. What we don't know is if all they need is vision therapy or if, if uh, after the completion of our treatment they also need to do tutoring and reading intervention and continue to get caught up in their ability. So we're able to level that visual playing field, get your, get your child to see the page just as good as any other student, and then then it's a matter of bridging the gap and getting caught up over time. So is your child a candidate for vision therapy? Do they struggle with reading performance like speed, fluency, comprehension, keeping their place, attention, motivation? Do you observe discomfort when they're reading like headaches, eye strain, lots of eye rubbing and fatigue, nausea, irritability? Seeing a developmental optometrist can help you find the solution to your problems or help you rule out vision. And a developmental optometrist is going to do about 30 or so tests on, on all these different visual skills, way beyond just can they see 2020. If all of this relates to you and your child, then I encourage you to give our office a call and get started there or, to, or find a local vision therapy clinic near you by following the website covd.org and, and uh, choosing locate a doctor. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out all of our other videos and, and we'll see you next week.